Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I think I got a spot cleaned out here big enough to fit the heister in. So. Got it swept and blown out. So. Next thing to do is to get it in here.
Well, I managed to get it inside. So I'd like to have it up a little further. The cranes as far back as it'll go. I'm barely centered of the engine. But if I have to move it forwards, maybe I can. I just have to move some more stuff. But I've got the hood off. Had to heat the hinge pins, get them out. Got the grill screen off the back and covers off the pump here. Well, I got to take the pump drive shaft loose. Get this radiator out of here. And got a lot of stuff to unhook. So, let's say everything's down in there. Lots of goodies. But we got to get all these goodies out of the way so we can put the new goodies in. It's going to be a tight fit, not a lot of extra room, at least not the way I measure it. But it's going to be a vast improvement. And see, I got some room I can play with if I have to. I can tuck the motor back up under there. Um, of course, that Cummins is way taller than the Hercules. But I'm limited on width. That's kind of the one thing I am a little concerned about is it clears these hydraulic cylinder lines okay. I guess I can route them to the outside if I have to. Gain another inch or so. But it's kind of dark back in here and it's mainly working over in holes. So not really a lot to see. It's just basically unhook everything at this point. Unhook it all, rip it all out. So we can work on putting it all back. Well, radiator's out, so we got that out of the way. And that opens it up to the hydraulics. And see how the drive shaft for the main hydraulic pump is attached. So you gotta get that loose and I'll be ready, I guess, to see about slinging this engine. Well, coming right along. So, down, we got the transmission sitting there. And it hangs off the back of the engine. So, initially, I was going to pull it separate, but I think I'm going to pull it all together. So, I got to get the rest of the slinkage off here and get the drive shaft disconnected and get the rest of the wires off. And then I guess I'll be ready to disconnect some mounts and see about getting this thing hooked up to lift it out of here. Well, let's see if I can get this thing out of here. I don't know how this is gonna go. But... I get the exhaust unhooked.
Hmm. Well, now if I can just get it out of there, I'd be all set. I really need this lift up further. Well, it's out. I think that'd be a good place to cut this video. And it's gonna be time to try and get the transmission mounted on the new engine. And I'm gonna have to redo this forklift. Try and get it in here where I can get to it better. Hope you enjoyed that little status update. Uh, me getting the engine out. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.